So I'm Ken Anders with ProFoam. Today I'm talking about the pH2 machine, pH25, pH40, and so on from the, 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 the analog machines from PMC. Because the hose is going to work basically the same on all of them. Um, in this case, right now, on my hose heat controller, it's flashing an error code. Now, depending on which controller you have, it may flash something different. In this case, it's flashing open. What that means here, and that may be S-E-R-R, -R, uh, something like that, but you'll see a flashing error. In this case, that means it's this, this is no longer able to read the, the sensor in the hose and know what temperature it is. Now, the sensor in the hose is going to look something like this. Uh, so this block goes between two sections of hose. You can see that for A and B hoses and your air hose go through this block. And that this gives a, a way to feed the sensor, this is our sensor here, inside the isocyanate hose uh, and actually pick up the temperature from inside the hose. Then this connects to purple wires that go all the way back along the hose to the front of the machine right here. And then this goes on up to the controller so it can read the temperature on this wire, okay? But when it's flashing, there, for some reason, it can't, it has no connection to this wire anymore. So it's telling you, hey, I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna stop feeding heat out there, and I'm just gonna flash this error code for you so you know you got a problem, you gotta fix it, okay? Um, so where do we go from there? If we have that error, it could be the sensor itself, it could be something on that purple wire that runs out along the hose to the sensor. Um, that's pretty much, it's gonna be one of those two things. It's really, really unlikely that it's actually gonna be the controller itself. So on our demo hose here, and let's just imagine that each section here that I have is 50 feet, but it, for our demo, they're only about three feet long. But here's that block, and this is where our sensor goes right here, okay? It's where it feeds into the A-side hose and connects to the purple wire. And this is a really poor connection right here. You can already see that, and that's probably what's causing that. But what I can do is disconnect this, unthreading, and you'll see these little boots will probably be over yours. So you have to cut those back, or, or cut the tape, and slide them back on the wire. Unthread this, if I go the right way. Okay. Now this section of hose, you can actually pull back to the front of the machine and plug it in here and thread it down. If you don't thread it down, it's not going to read. When I do that, now I'm actually getting a temperature here. So I know that this is good, the wire going from here down to the front is good, and the sensor is good. As long as I think that number is pretty close to what it actually is. Um, so the problem is at this point, is most likely in that purple wire somewhere. It could be in a connection. It could be somewhere that the hose is abraded and, and the, the wire is actually broken. Um, you can walk along your hose and look for any kind of damage. If you see it, that's probably where it is. Otherwise, you're going to end up opening up the connections, these. Okay, pull the scuff jacket back, unplug these. Now, I know this is good. I know that's good. If I put one section of purple wire between here and there, does it read a number? If it does, that piece of purple, that section of purple wire is good. If that's good, I can put another section of purple wire between them. I can just keep narrowing it down until I find out which section of wire is causing my problem and then address that section. So that's how I kind of troubleshoot for that error code right there. I'm Ken Anderson with ProFoam. Thanks for watching. Thank you.